Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design. And in this video, we're gonna tackle a question that came across on the Discord channel. And if you guys wanna be on the Discord channel, you can leave me an email at support at cadjucator.com and I'll send you an invite link. But what we came across is a design that they wanted to convert to sheet metal. Now, if you've ever used the convert to sheet metal tool, you probably didn't get the results you were looking for. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how this works and some things that you need to be careful with. First off, if you just go to convert to sheet metal and you select your design, it's going to want you to select a planar face. And when we do that, it's going to look for the thickness of your part. It's going to try to find a rule that matches that. In this case, three millimeters is how I drew this. And I can say, okay. Now you may think, great, I've got a sheet metal part. Let's go ahead and flatten this thing and create a flat pattern. Select a stationary face, hit okay. Well, unfortunately, that only goes so far. You can see that it's still 3D. There's an error and it just didn't work. Now, the reason for this is because we actually have to collect the bends by unfolding and refolding it. However, there is a slight problem here. This only works if the corners are rounded. So we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll try it. If I select the stationary face, it says that it's not connected to any bends. And the reason for that is because in reality, when we have a flange and we have a bend, what we actually end up with is a rounded corner on the inside and the outside. And that's what Fusion's looking for to know whether or not this thing is truly a sheet metal part. Now, if we take a look at our rules and we take a look at our bends, by default, the bend radius is gonna be three millimeters on the inside of the bend and six millimeters on the outside. So that's what it's looking for. It doesn't have to match that, but we do need to have a bend radius on the inside and the outside. It can't be a sharp corner and it does have to be consistent. So I'm gonna delete this convert to sheet metal. Let me go back to my solid tools and back to fillet. And what I wanna do is make sure that I have at least a three millimeter fillet everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and on the inside edges, select everything and I'll add three millimeters here. And I'll add another one to the outside. This one, again, to keep a consistent thickness will need to be three millimeters that we put on the inside plus the thickness, which is another three millimeters. So we're gonna have six on the outside. Hold down control to grab those. We should still have a consistent wall thickness part. Now, if we go back to our sheet metal tools and we go back and do convert to sheet metal again, select that same top face, this time, if we go to modify and unfold and we select that top face, notice how it highlights all of those bends. We can unfold all bends or we can select the ones that we want to, and then we can refold them. And now your flat pattern should work. Select a stationary face and boom, now we have a flat pattern of our 3D part. So there are a couple of tricks to this, of course. You do have to have rounded corners. They don't have to match the bend radius defaults of your sheet metal setting. So in this case, it would be the thickness value and that's what we put it at. But as long as the corners are rounded in some way, so for example, if this inside was one millimeter instead of three, it would be just fine. It just can't be a sharp corner. Uh, the other thing that I found is that you do need to manually unfold and refold for it to collect those bends. If you just come in and try to do a flat pattern, so for example, if I delete the refold, uh, let's go ahead and try to delete these. It may not work, I may have to undo. All right, there we go. And I try to do a flat pattern off of this. I found that it won't work. Um, in some cases, in other cases, it will. So if you do have that problem where your flat pattern is not working, try to do the unfold and refold. It does add a couple extra features in the timeline, but generally it helps because it goes through the process of collecting those bends based on those filleted corners. So if you have any questions on this, please leave a comment below. Um, again, this question did come up on the Discord channel. If you do wanna be a part of that, send me an email, support at cadjucator.com. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.